day I got fucking busted was a trip. That fucking shit just seemed awkward as fuck. I was at my chick's pad. She was all dope sick on heroin. I was up being a fucking weirdo for a long ass fucking time. And I went over to the gym and I, I would always work out when I'm on these sick ones. So I'm on a sick one and I'm, I'm hitting the fucking weights. And I finally finish. I walk out and a dude with the beard, U.S. Marshal motherfucker, just has that AR in my fucking mouth. And he's just like, bam, he draws down on me. He's like, get the fuck down. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I'm going to handle your fucking business at first. And I was just on a sick one. And he fucking, uh, he laid me down. He cuffed me up. And he's just all like, hey, you know what this is? And I'm like, nah, it's a, I didn't check in for my probation. I'm all, I'm good. And he's like, nah, this is a, this is a different case. You're, you're fucked. Like, this is some shit, you know? I'm the U.S. Marshal. They don't send me for probation violations. And I'm like, ah, shit, okay. I'm all, can you get my chick real quick? Let her know that, um, that I'm leaving, you know? And then so she comes over. She's crying. She's the cutest thing in the world to me at this time. I love her to fucking death. It's breaking my heart. I know I'm going away, whatever. But uh, they take me down to county. First, they take me to some fucking uh, Carlsbad station. And they try to just get, they're like, "You, we got you. These fools are telling us a story, telling us it's you, this person, that person, and the other. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck you guys are talking about. Yeah, I know the one guy, but I never, I don't fucking know about this event. I don't know the other people. So, yeah, you obviously know that I know the one person, but I don't know the other people. So, anyways, all of them have, have already snitched on me at this point. I don't know. And I admit to, I never admit to being there. I never said I was at this place. My documents are online. I never till this day have admitted to being at this crime or anything to do with it. So straight up, they bring me to county jail and I fucking come in and I fucking run into a motherfucker I went to high school with. He's a CO there. He's like, damn, what's up, motherfucking Cooley? Everybody knows Cooley. But, uh, and then we, he ends up fucking, he's cool as fuck. He books me in and shit. And then they sent me to the high power spot for people who, who are doing a gang of time. It was Upper West in Vista County. And at this time, there was a little drama between, uh, between the homies and, and the white boys at this time. And I mean, I always say that, the, that we're an allies because we are allies. The Southsiders in the woods, they work together. They always have an uh, alliance where they fucking are against the other side of the day room, the blacks, the others, the northerners, and then our side of the day room, the whites, the Southsiders, the Pisces, we have an alliance over here. So, but at this time, it doesn't mean that there can't be a problem between us and the Southsiders. So at this time, there was drama, and that shit fucking kicked off tough in the first fucking couple days. The two of these big motherfuckers, they tried to come push me into an open cell to start it off because I was the biggest white boy. They were trying to take me out. So this big-ass motherfucker, he was, he was like 6'8", big-ass fool. I, comes rushing at me. I dump him. I pick his legs up and, and fucking just pound him into the ground. Fucking straight. Boom, just put his feet up, slam him down. And then fucking the people that were with him trying to push me in the cell, they're all fucking tripping. They're getting at me. I went, all I know is like 10 minutes later, I'm leaking like a motherfucker out of my eye. I don't know what the fuck happened. We were all fighting. It happened quick. But two white boys in that thing got stabbed. The two... Only two of the white boys jumped. The other fools fucking played dead and laid on the fucking ground while 50 homies were, were fucking us up. We, you, can't, you can't win with the homies. I'm going to be honest. Like, anyone who's been to the pen knows the homies fucking, they got the numbers. It's, it's going to be bad. So, I mean, you're going to fight till death, but it's, it's a numbers game. Prison is a fucking numbers game. So, just know you're fighting a fucking battle. So, I mean, I get this big-ass cut. I'm fighting to the very end. The motherfucking cops come in with the pepper guns, <laughs> lighting us up. We're all coughing. Everybody gets down. You can't breathe. Those things choke you up. You're done. But after this fucking riot, we, the white boys that were in it, we get sent to SEG. So we go to SEG. We're in ad SEG, which is like the whole administrative segregation. It's like the whole, it's like the shoe in prison, but for county jail. So while in ad SEG, I'm there in SEG alone for... Nine months, no celly, no contact, just a motherfucking water bag. And that's all I had was a water bag, some magazines, and fucking all the time on my hands in the world to sit there and stress on the case I'm taking a trial. So I'm sitting there for nine motherfucking months. Cold, dark, cell, no TV, no celly, no contact. It's a fucking building that's empty. And everybody, there's like 15 cells, and every cell gets their one hour in the day room to use the TV and to shower and shit. You get one hour a day. So you go out there by yourself, 
and it's PCs, it's normal people, it's fucking, uh, it's all the people who fucking, who have current drama. So I'm back there, I'm GP, but there's PCs, there's everybody. You don't really ever talk to the PCs or anything like that. They actually will get in your vent and fuck with you. And the, the way this building is fucking situated is there's a fucking seat that goes through from cell to cell. And the seat is fucking metal. And that's where you sit at your desk to fucking, to do your writing and shit. And this J-Cat motherfucking PC who lived next to me, he would wait till about three in the morning, like one o'clock to three o'clock in the morning, and he would slap his shower shoe on the fucking seat. And it was the loudest fucking ding, like in my cell. Like I could hear it in my cell, it would rattle because they were connected through the wall. So now this motherfucker would just harass the shit out of us, putting shit on the phones on 4th of July because nobody cared for him. And he was just one of them hater-ass motherfuckers that if he's going through some shit, he's going to make other people go through some shit. Don't be one of those motherfuckers. Always give what you want in return. When people give negativity, that's a sign that they feel like shit inside and they hate themselves. We know how we feel when we're being negative. So don't ever play into that. Listen and walk by the language of the universe. This is energy distribution. This is frequencies. This is vibrations. And we know when we're giving off some bullshit ass shit. And a lot of people nowadays do that passive negativity. Don't do that passive negativity bullshit. You're better off just speaking your shit than holding that shit in. It'll make you physically sick. But anyways, I get back to me being in county. I'm in county. My chick visits me a few times. I see my people a few times. It would break my heart. She was actually pregnant at the time. My little princess sending me letters that were saying, what should we name our kid? And she was looking after my pit bull who had puppies at the same time. So, I mean... I had my pit bull that was pregnant. I had my princess. I was like, man, my world is perfect. But I landed myself in prison and I'm looking at 20 fucking years. That's how life happens. Once everything's perfect, that motherfucking bullshit catches up with you and that fucking karmic debt, it's time to pay it. It's always time to pay that karmic debt the second everything's perfect. It was all good just a week ago, motherfucker. That shit's fucking true as fuck. Don't fucking think you're getting away with it. Live that good life. If a man is right, his motherfucking world will be right. So county jail is torture. The first fucking couple days, everybody's kicking dope. They get like, they get like 72 hours before they have to start programming tough. I guess county jail ain't bad if you're looking at small amounts of time, which I've never been. I've never just gone to county on a baby beef. I've always had problems. My first case was the, the trafficking charge that they were hitting me with five years with. And then the fucking next case was this fucking, uh, this robbery in the first, battery in the first, assault deadly weapon, the whole nine. They gave me the fucking enhancements on everything. The craziest fucking shit is, is I fought this motherfucking case. I took it to the box. They, everyone would tell me, Wes, there's a 98% conviction rate in San Diego County. I said, good motherfucker, because I'm the fucking 2%, and I still feel that way today. That's how you should feel. Don't take your case to the box, but feel that you're the 2%. Feel that you're the 1% and act like it. If everyone else is doing one thing, it's the best bet that if you do the opposite, you'll fucking kill it. That's why I get the fuck up early. That's why I push myself. That's why them burgers are only fucking rarely eaten. That's why we stay in line with what we desire. If you don't want muscles, if you don't want to be blasted, if you don't want a nice bank account, if you don't want to be successful, then don't listen to the fucking principles that I push. Because anything else don't fucking work. Everybody knows it's the principles. It's discipline. It's commitment. It's consistency. It's that relentless motherfucking behavior that I show every day on my motherfucking Instagram and you guys are going to see it pay off. Mark my motherfucking words. Stay the fuck out of county. Stay the fuck out of prison. And most of all, quit following them fake ass fucks that are selling you a fucking dream that they know ended in their fucking tears.